Hello. Hello. How's it going? Happening. This is part two of our brushed motors are slow, right? Videos. It was a while ago. It was years ago. That was only in jest because we were saying, oh, brushed motors are slow, and they're really not slow. You get slow and fast ones. Um, this one's going to be more representative of a brushless versus brushed. I don't know. Uh, comparison. Uh, comparison. Yeah. I was going to say head to head something. I've forgotten what the word was. Dual. Dual. Um, so this is my Tamiya TT01E. This is the car I used last time. I was using a different body shell. Last time it was a six turn triple brushed motor with a 2S lipo. You were using H spray Blitz. H spray Blitz, yeah. And you also, did you not desolder your yes. motor from the EC? EC? Yes, we'll get to that. Yeah. So I was running a 2S lipo, a six turn triple brushed motor in my touring car. He was running a 3S lipo with a 3300 kV brushless system. Sensorless, yeah. and they were they were they were almost. I mean, the, the comparisons they're right, so nothing, close. Nothing, nothing between them. Today we're comparing a brushed tuning car with a brushless tuning car. This is my Yokomo MR4 TC Custom, and that's running a 13 and a half turn brushless sensored 2S. So 2S, 2S brushed brushless. So this is now a 12 turn single, not a six turn triple, because the six turn, as he said, used to desolder itself after every run. So. Uh, one thing I will disclose before we do this head to head, I don't know which one's going to be quicker. This is running far superior tyres, proper slick racing tyres. Those are old T27 general purpose, they're not great. You're going to be so disappointed when you scuff that shell. I've already done it. Anyway, let's, let's do another comparison video between brush and brushless. Hopefully, nothing breaks. I can't see. Oh, I just fell at the curb. <laughs> right, last time I drove this car. The front diff fell apart. Right. Seems we lost front wheel drive. Because somebody, and we're not naming names, somebody built it wrong when he was reconditioning the uh, chassis. But we're not naming names. No. And did you use the parts from your Komodo? I didn't. That's a bad joke. <laughs> just like just like the Komodo diffs. I really hope this works. Makes it right. The uh Smoothing, massive smoothing capacitor on that old ESC has become dislodged and it's not connected, so... One, one perk of, a, of, of the brush motor is... Listen to the racket that's making! Oh no, the fan is so loud on that ESC! Oh, it's a bit slippy! I don't know what the te- oh, already! I don't know what the temperature is, but it's not warm! Let's get some temperature on your tyres, Matthew! Oh jeez, oh. That must be the first time. Yeah, getting there. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be the one to have this GoPro in my head because all they can see is this aerial sticking up. Right. Whoa, on here. What are you doing, Matthew? Yes, it is. It's going left. Whoa. This, this, this brushed motor, this 12 turn motor does have some get up and go once it stops wheel spinning. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Oh, oh! I would say, just with the way they're geared now, the time is faster with the brushed motor. I think so. I think we could easily heal up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm limited on the pinion sizes available, unfortunately. Just because the size of the spur gear on that. Yeah, it's definitely much quicker. The Yokomo sound, they both sound really good actually, considering the age of them. I mean, that Yokomo's 20 odd years old. Try to keep the air out of the way, sorry. Should we have nice some... Should, yeah, it's a good setup, isn't it? Should we have a bit of a drag race? If we hit this line here, that's plenty of braking area, isn't it? Oh yeah, they're stopping my dime. 
Alright, I don't know which one. I have no reverse, so I don't know if I'm too far forward or not. Right. Stand at the line. Right, you call it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, at least it was stylish. Again? Yeah, it's a bit slippery. Try again. Well, hold on, before we do this, let's just... There we go. Temperature. Still pulling left a little bit. That, I think you were spinning the belt there or something because that didn't look like the diff was spinning. spinning. What, both back wheels? Do it again. Didn't look like the back wheels were spinning. Okay. Right, fine. Sounds so smooth, that car. Very slick. It is. I and mean, it is, it is undergeared for doing this, to be fair. Right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, it's no contest. Brush this motors are well slow. <laughs> oh, what, the 190? The 190 looks great. Anybody who tells you that a Ferrari La Ferrari looks better than 190, they're lying. I wonder if, if we can see, I don't want to smash into the kerb though. Oh, I just built the kerb! Because you can't quite see all the way around, but it'd be good to have a wee race. You want to try the Tamiya? Yeah. Are you? Oh, it's so slow. Perfect. No, the. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was a curb. Yeah, these tires don't help either, do they? No. These are these are T27 general purpose tires, and they're about 20 years old. Still, the Yokomo changes direction like a house fly. It really does. Oh, it's good, aye. It doesn't handle as well with that as it did with the racing body shell, because there's no downforce from that shell. <laughs> Woofed. Oh. Get a bit of temperature on these tyres now. You can just chuck it about. I don't particularly like using this Yokomo outside because it's really notorious for getting stones and gravel and grit in the back belt. Did you? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. You want another drag race? Do you want slaughter, Dad? Uh, or or we, could have, we, could have a, we could have a race. Rather than a drag race. All right, well, what, what, what are we going to do? Yeah, you pick a route. Why don't we... I need to go super slow because this is obviously a much slower front end. Yeah, well, we won't bump over the thingies. Why don't we just do from the stripes here, round, down that way, and then past through here and then stripes again. So just a big loop? Just a big loop, aye. Okay. Yep. Starting at the stripes? Yeah, start here, yeah. yeah. Or we could do time trials if you're scared of, like, smashing them both. No, no, it's fine. All right. Once I'm ahead, I'm ahead. Yeah, that's true. I'm not catching it, am I? <laughs> that that one ninety looks so good. Oh, it looks so nice. Right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes. I can't see. Can't see. Can't see. There we are. Oh, more! No! I hit the hit the puddle. That was looking good for a moment. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> right again. 
That's how I want you. Okay. Right. Three, two, one, go, mother. Oh, but slide it. Oh, I can't see. Oh, I just fell at the camp. Can't see. No. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, Yokomo. Oh. Oh, I've split it. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. The Yokomo officially needs a new body shell. Oh, it's demolished. Well, the problem is. Oh. Oh no. Look. That's a lot. The problem is. Look, there's no bumper oh, involvement. Bumper. <laughs> That's why. Ah. Poor Yokomo. I always liked having Ferrari shells in the Yokomo, though. It was a tr tradition. Yeah, I had a Ferrari F50 when I first got it. I'll just get a, a body shell that fits properly. Okay, this time you call it in. <laughs> I'm just sending it now because there's no fear. I'll hit the puddle again. Come on, Yokomo! Block him, block him, block him! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Ah, there's nothing I can do, there's no answer to that. You can't, yeah, it doesn't have reverse, Matthew. No. Are you turn around first. Okay, three, two, one, go. I'm winning this one. Holy crap, that's fast. Oh, that's so fast. Go on, Yokomo. Come on, Yokomo. Oh, you yeah, beast. Come on. Ah. Oh, I'm going. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't see it. It spun out again and I walloped the wall. Oh. Look, check the stay of its coupon. Oh. oh no! Oh, sorry, Yokomo. Oh, well, I think it's, I, I, I went behind the bushes. I couldn't see over them. Damn it! Look at that. Oh, so I don't think I'll bother with a Ferrari shell next time, even though that's kind of a tra tradition. We'll see what grabs me. There might be some nice body shells. Damn it. Poor Yokomo. I didn't like how high that sat anyway, it's it's too high. That's proper stanced. And more importantly, Matthew, at some point you've lost the Mercedes three-pointed star. It's fallen off. You need to go and find it. Go on. Find it. Oh. Nice one, Matthew. Just park it in the curb. Oh, nice one, Mike. Park it in the curb. Nice. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh. oh, there's something wrong here. Remember what I was saying about stones and stuff and getting into the back belt? Don't know what it is. Well, I think the Yokomo loses. Um, the bumpers, the body is destroyed. It's the slowest and it lost every race. And now it's got some sort of problem. That's a sorry sight, that is. It really is. Flat out, flat out, man. We should probably check on that speed controller. Make sure it hasn't overheated. Also, there's no low voltage cut off on that. Oh, is there not? Nah. <laughs> 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 <Did you? laughs> well, that's the winner. The brush motor is the winner of the day. And the body shell wins. Tommy wins. Inside. There's a little bit, you keep hitting puddles. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. We'll see you later. See ya.